Hello everyone, this is Vitro Photo House and I'm uh, keep going with my reviews of Soviet photo equipment and today I want to talk about one of the recent, the most recent cameras produced in the Soviet Union. This is Zenit 19. SLR cam camera, film camera. It was producing in the late 80s in very limited quantities in the Soviet Union. It has it has some specific features, some as such as fully electronic shutter. So let's take a closer look on the camera. So basically, it was producing with a with a kit lens Zenitar M1.7 or 50 millimeters of focal lens. This is um, camera with a switch, with a auto, with a with a auto aperture mode. Here there is a button allowing to to to, to close uh, the aperture in the in the auto mode. Also, what 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 else I can say? It's a self timer here. Uh, it's for flash so here there is a shutter there's a f the, the film counter here the shutter release bat button the turning uh, here the disc with the shutter speeds the shutter speeds are going from the B up to one one hundred of seconds so it's quite advanced camera for that period also um, here we have the viewfinder and um, the light indica indicator showing the battery if this battery is okay on the bottom of the camera there is a battery compartment and uh, the the mechanism the where you put the film sensibility the disc with the film sensibility values so let's let's see how it works so first of all we need to put the two batteries in the battery compartment here so I found that what goes very well the what what which which cells you can use with this camera rep replacing the original this is the cell v 625u marking on this cell and it's it fit fit perfectly the this camera this one made by by varta but there is another producers which produce this kind of cell v 625u so plus here you put plus minus here you put minus like this then you close it you screw the you close completely with a special screw here now we will check if it's working there is a you push this button and you see you see the red led is 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 turned on so with batteries everything is okay so let's let's keep going let's move the film inside it's a fuji film superior sensibility 200 let's open to open the door you just pull this part in this direction you open it as you may see there is an electronic shutter you may see how it works for example just let's say put on half of second you just push the release shutter release button and it you keep it you see it's working without problems and so on so let's put the film inside you just put like an ordinary one
Now you just you can just turn with your fingers a bit like this. It's okay. You close the door. You push it to the end here. Then you put your film sensibility so it's a 180. It's more or less the same. Then just you cook your shutter and here the counter it will show you the here so the first frame and then you just you select your aperture speed aperture value sorry here with this disk and you select your shutter speed and then you you just look into viewfinder and you will see the little arrow inside the viewfinder on the right and when you push the button of the um, aperture here so it moves if it goes too high so the image will be super exposed is if it's low goes below the zero uh, the image will be under exposed and yeah so you will need to uh, the to put the this hand in your finder to the zero more or less zero position it shows that it's normal exposure uh, pair of uh, shutter speed and aperture and then just by pushing the button so you look you put your focus you focus on your desired object then you just push shutter release button and you take your photo okay so what can i say else about this camera so you just cook your shutter and so on you you may you shoot your your photos then to release the film from the camera you need to push this blue button button here and then then you open this and just by turning to the right you just take your your film from the camera so it's quite original camera with very good lens, fast lens, it delivers good results and it's quite, quite high, hard to find the camera in completely working condition but in my eBay shop you can find it. So if you are interested in some tested and clean Soviet photo equipment please visit the shop of Retro Photo House on ebay.com thank you for your attention goodbye